What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Izzy here, welcome back. Before we start this video, I just want to apologize for the uh, little late upload. I was having a little bit of internet trouble the majority of the day, so I apologize for that, but I'm here now. Now, as I'm sure you guys know, just yesterday we had a bombshell of an update dropped on us, which was just, it was insane. Now, if you guys didn't know anything, you guys have no idea what's going on, the division system and the game as we know it is changing absolutely changing. Divisions is going under a complete transformation. And by this, we're talking like new division perks, getting rid of attachments tied to divisions, all that sort of good stuff. And it's coming next week, which as I'm sure you know, if you have PS4 is the release of DLC 2, which looks pretty awesome as well. Honestly, what I'm feeling after hearing this news and this big update is I'm feeling just pure excitement. I'm excited for the variety. I'm excited for the choices all these different possibilities that you can come up with when creating a class that this game has been lacking for the past four or five months, which is just, it's amazing. Now, what I've been hearing from other people is that this is going to be the biggest update Call of Duty has ever received. And I would definitely have to agree with that statement. In past years, we've had changes to perks, tweaks to weapon balancing, and all this other little stuff that has had a pretty big effect on some games. Now, imagine if they were to tweak an entire customization system. <laughs> that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty big. So I guess the next logical question to ask is, could this change people's perception of World War II? And to answer bluntly and to keep it short, I would say no. At least the initial announcement won't drive people to the game or change their perception of it. I mean, sure, it might garner a few videos from old faces where they just basically go into the game. Oh, new update. That's a pretty cool. We have a new mate pick and a new division system. Okay, good job. Okay, back to Fortnite. <laughs> And, and then that's about all you'll see. But I think the people who have loved this game since launch are just gonna be that much more excited about what's happening. And when that happens, they might be more inclined to talk about it, drive up conversations, mentions, all that sort of thing. And then that might actually attract some people back into the game because they're hearing all this great stuff about it. So I think that's where this might have a lasting impact on the game. And I think if any of this hype stuff happens, and then the joke that's been in my head for the past 24 hours will actually kind of be true. <laughs> Call of Duty's release date should have been changed to April 10th, 2018. <laughs> What's November 3rd? <laughs> the beta release? <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, I'm just light years ahead of any other comedic geniuses. But that might actually be true. Think about it. We might see more players online than we've seen in the past few months. We have a creative class system or a customization system, which is a lot more fun and has a lot more variety than we've had in the past few months. We might be getting a domination that has been like domination in every other game. And finally, I think we'll have more than 15 or 16 maps in the game, which used to be a standard for Call of Duty, for those of you who don't remember. So yeah, my uh, my joke might actually be kind of a reality. But enough of these uh, jokes aside, I just want to get into the five things that I'm really excited for about this new update, or this, uh, this release date, I would say. <laughs> no, I said I'd be done, I'm sorry. But number one, and these are in no particular order, would be obviously the division system. We're seeing this completely reworked, revamped, it's new and improved, it's gonna be a lot better, there's more choices. The perks have actually changed too, which I think is great. So your experience with your favorite division is gonna be completely transformed in the next few days, which I think is crazy. It's gonna be a lot more fun that way, I think too. And number two, I'm also excited for the weapon attachments. Now, as I'm sure we all remember, our choice of division was pretty much tied to the attachments that we wanted. For instance, if you wanted a quiet SMG, you had to pick the airborne division. If you wanted some annoying ass fire shells in your shotgun, you have to go with expeditionary. Well now, that's all completely changed. You're no longer attached, get it, attached. <laughs> I said I'd stop and I'm sorry. But you're no longer stuck to one division if you want to use an attachment. Those attachments are actually going to be in the attachments section that you can pick when customizing your loadout, which I think is going to be great for everybody because it again promotes variety and choice. And the third thing that I'm really excited for is unlimited sprint. That's right, unlimited sprint. And if you guys know me, you guys know that I love to run and gun. And this unlimited sprint that's being added into the game is not just exclusive to one division. It is throughout every single division. So if you're running the armored division or whatever it may be, you can sprint the entire game. It's not tied to divisions at all. But they did kind of reduce the sprint speed just a little bit. But still, I can't complain. I love running around the map. Now, the fourth thing that I'm excited about are the new perks or basic trainings that are being added into the game. Now, the first one that seems pretty cool is clandestine, which allows you to, after you kill an enemy, 
you pick up some kind of bag, I'd imagine like scavenger or something, that when you actually pick it up, it pings nearby enemies. And with that, you kind of get like a little radar ping that kind of lets you know where enemies are in your immediate vicinity, which I think is pretty cool. And as a bonus for that basic training, you get a ping at the start of each life. So let's say you die and you respawn, you get a ping just to kind of let you know where enemies might be as soon as you respawn, which again, I think is pretty awesome. Now the second basic training being introduced into this game, which is one that I'm very excited for, is called Blitzkrieg. And what Blitzkrieg does is it allows you to earn your streaks through kills instead of score. Now, I'm not sure exactly how that component works, but that's not the thing that I'm most excited for about this perk. My excitement comes from the bonus that this basic training has to offer, which is your streaks are improved and you can select a fourth streak. All right, so if you've been around, you guys know that I kind of have an issue with the weak streaks in this game. So hearing that they're gonna actually implement something that allows you to increase the damage of these streaks or the effectiveness of these streaks, I'm gonna be all for it. So obviously that is a basic training that I just cannot wait to try out. And now the fifth and final thing that I'm really excited for in this game is Paint Shop will be in the game on Tuesday. <laughs> How long have we been waiting? Again, my joke is is true. <laughs> April 10th really is the full release date of this game. I'm convinced that's not even a joke anymore. We have everything that we were promised at launch now comes like four or five months later. Wow. I mean, just wow. But I'm really excited for Paint Shop. I think it's going to be awesome to see what people can create. And I might want to try to get creative myself and see what I can make. And hopefully we can share these paint jobs with the rest of the community because I think that'd be really awesome as well. But yeah, dude, paint shop is finally here. I don't know why it took so long. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, those are the five things that I'm really excited for in this new update. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, that should do it for this video. I want to know something, though, before I go. What are some of the things that you guys are looking forward to in this new update? Also, on top of that, what map looks like it's going to be the most fun to play in this DLC? Let me know in the comments, guys. But yeah, other than that, that about does it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because, as I always will say, we have a ton of fun on this channel. But yeah, I hope you take it easy, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey.